Frank, the RBS Six Nations finished recently. England came out on top, winning their first Grand Slam since 2003. Were they were they victors? Well, much as it pains me to admit it, they probably were the best side in the competition. Um, I don't think uh, the Southern Hemisphere giants will be losing any sleep over them at the moment, but they were definitely the best side this year. And Scotland finished fourth. Um, two wins, probably could have, should have been three, so plenty of positives in the campaign for Scotland? Yeah, I, I think they're, they're much easier on the eye now, Scotland. Um, I think they've improved in a number of different areas. Certainly the scrummage, there's no doubt about that. The defence has tightened up over the years and, and they're, they're looking a lot more dangerous on the ball than they have done for some time. 11 tries were scored. I think that's Scotland's highest try scoring tally since the inception of the Six Nations, so that's another positive. Yeah, I think that's really impressive because it's not easy to score tries at international level. And I think we've got a number of quality players now who, who in combination with each other, are capable of doing the special things that you need to do to break the really tough defences in the game today. Stuart Hogg was outstanding at fullback. Yeah, he was. And uh, he, he seems to, when, I, when he came back from the Lions, he seemed to go into the doldrums a, a wee bit. And it, likewise at the beginning of this season, but he, he's back to his best now. And I'm sure he's going to be a hot favourite for a 15 berth in the next Lions trip. Now, pre- plenty of pundits are select, busy selecting their Lions 15s already for the tour to New Zealand next year. If a squad was being picked tomorrow, which Scots do you think would be in the mix? Well, I haven't looked at all that detail, but I know they will definitely discuss our whole front five. You know, they'll, they'll have to talk about these guys because of what they've done in the scrummage. And, and there, there are no mugs around the pitch either. You know, there's, there's plenty of quality in there, uh, which is probably the most unusual aspect of the national team at the moment because it's an area we've, we've been pretty vulnerable in the past. Uh, John Hardy uh, is certainly worth talking about. And... Uh, our, our four centres are, are decent players. Uh, I think Alec Dunbar, with a bit more game time this season, uh, could have really shone in, in this, and I think he's really important uh, to the national side. Um, but of course, the back three are, are as dangerous as, as we've had for a while, especially Hogg and Seymour, and, and I'm sure they would be discussed if the Lions were to go next week.